Um, the city recently disbanded the park board. In your opinion, was that the right move? We'll start with Jerry. This one hits kind of close to home because I was on the park board when it was disbanded. Um, and I was asked by several dollars what my thoughts were on that. I think that in its current setting, I think that the park board was, uh, it was kind of a waste of the resources that we had. The folks that were involved in the park board had no ability to complete anything as, as a unit. And those folks were willing to give their time to local government and willing to, to sit on a board and do something. And I think it was, by, by disbanding that, it's freed up those nine people to operate in another area of the, of the, of the town. Um, a, a big issue was, uh, you know, we'd come to a meeting, we would have nothing on our agendas, there'd be, you know, a, a few issues here and there. We would approve those issues. Everything that we approved still had to go to city council to be approved. So it was kind of, you know, it, our recommendation was, was taken into account at some level, but we had no final say in anything. So I, I, I do think that for, for the time being, there was no necessary need for the park board. That is, you all started when the park board lost its administrative status. Um, once that happened, the park board felt that they, I think there's some animosity on some of the park board members. I think the park board could do and still can a group do wonderful things, just like the the group that supports the zoo in Springfield, we can form a group that wants to support the parks. They become their own 501c3. They can do what they want to do and raise their money to benefit the parks in Ozark. I don't think there was the need for a formal citywide board to run the parks. Once the parks department became an official under the administration of the city, there was no need for that board to be in existence anymore. Okay. Gentlemen, do you have questions for each other? Okay, let's go right to closing remarks. Mike, would you start us off with your closing remarks? Ozark's my home. Uh, it's been my home longer than the five years I've lived here. Since I opened a business here, I guess Ozark really became my home when the Ducks started playing baseball here. I really loved and I missed that stadium, being operating and having something to go on. Brad can tell you, I didn't miss many days of being in that park. I think I missed three the whole time I was there. But that made me love Ozark and the atmosphere that it provided and it got me into town and seeing that there was an opportunity to build a business here. It got me out to see the parks, got me driving around and seeing all the different neighborhoods. And when it became time to start looking for a place to live, it started on my life looking for a place in Ozark. And it is my home. I, I'm, I'm still active. If After being off council, I'm still active in, on, I'm on the LCRA board. On planning and zoning, I do whatever's asked of me from the city. And I love the city and I'm always going to work for it. So I'm just hoping to get your vote on April 3rd. Thanks. First, I'd like to start by thanking the headliners for having us here tonight. I'd like to thank the OC. And most importantly, I'd like to thank those of you in attendance that have given us two hours of your time for all of us to sit up here and address you with what our concerns are for the city, the schools, the, the county government as well. So I, I, I do thank you. Uh, I live here, I work, I work here, I plan to maintain my practice here in Ozark, I plan to live here in Ozark and raise a family here in Ozark. And I think it's important to get involved and be a part of the process for what I want this city to be, not only next year and what it could be 10, 15, 20 years down the line, 30 years down the line. I think it's very important. I think it's important that there's six of us that obviously feel that we want to give our time to the city. And I think you know that, that's very important to have folks like that in the community. I want to be that person in Ward 3. I want to be the person you can come to, you can talk to. My office is going to always be open if you want to come in and have a, have a chat. It'll be open uh, you know, except five days a week. My phone will be posted. Uh, I want to represent the city of, of Ozark as the best I can. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. And now, before we wrap up, I'd like to ask all of the candidates to please stand again, be recognized. Would everybody please stand? And we do wish to thank all of you candidates. You are giving of your time, you're giving of your efforts, and of your passion to help Ozark. This is a big step, and I hope that the people in the audience recognize that. Every one of these people who are running for office 
have, have put their lives out in front of you. Uh, and it is a challenge. It's a huge, huge challenge. So please don't take that lightly. Please, please get out and vote on April 3rd and treat that vote with the respect that each of these candidates are giving you this evening and during their, their tenure of running for these offices. They truly do, in their hearts, want to help Ozark, want to help the school district. They are running for you. They are representing you. So please get to know them. Please get to know their issues, their thoughts. And please take that very, very seriously. And now on behalf of the Christian County Headliner, Editor Donna Osborne and her staff who have put this great event together this evening, we do want to thank you for coming out and spending the two hours of this evening to help foresee and help project Ozark's future. Thank you very much for being here with us this evening. Thank you.